What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another great breakdown I have for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over my game versus John Beast in the final four, the AFC West, excuse me, the AFC side of the club championship, Madden 21. Uh, this game happened about a week and a half ago. Um, you know, I was very anxious at this time. John Beast, great competitor, great guy, funny guy. Uh, we matched up with him in the final four. He was representing the Steelers. Um, and I was, of course, representing, you already know it, the Raiders. And, you know, that's all I got to say for the intro. Um, just let's watch this game. Let's break it down. Please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those notifications for some great content like this on the daily. So, guys, here's the stat line. It really doesn't matter too much. These are like weak and league stats. As here we go. For starting off the game early, Sean Taylor with that strip ball. Um, you know, it's a common thing for most of these pros and even in general, most of these guys to uh, run the ball in the first play to get to a hash mark. That's what he did. He got to, you know, left side, right side, whatever he wanted to go to. He was trying to go to the right side. We shot the inside zone, hit that R1 button perfectly, perfectly timed. And, you know, it resulted in a fumble. Very, very great start. I'm very blessed for that one right there. And, you know, that just that just puts him already in a, a hole. Even though we didn't get seven, we didn't get three yet, we don't even know what's gonna happen. It puts him in a mental hole and just a disadvantage. I see right here, guys, Sean Taylor says, give me that, cookies. And you know, I'm, I'm just ecstatic. You know, here we go, audibly to the gun, trips, tight end offset. Um, this RPO buck, John Beast was running a lot of mid blitz. So, you know, I had to test his uh, run. You know, mid blitz really can't stop that run, but he had a new setup. He had a better setup to stop the run. He was, I think, spreading his line, doing this, doing that. You know, it, it was it looked kind of nice. And, you know, here we go. I kind of rushed this a little bit. Just went straight to PA boot over and um, <clears throat> really had no one. I played that so bad. Instead of having my playmaker on my circle receiver, aka the inside most slot receiver, I just didn't even have him there. I had him on the outside where he's not going to make a play. So very too bad. I mean, the first play was whatever. You know, just testing them, feeling them out. I honestly just should, should have went straight into the dots. But, you know, this mid blitz is hard to play. He had three deep out KOs and, you know, two one steps. And, you know, that's just very, very frustrating to play. As you see right here, John, Ble John Beast just sends the heat. And, you know, I had a couple players open. But at that, at that point, I wasn't going to get the first down off that. There's no point in making those reads. We're going to kick our three. And right here, he almost gets a block. We do have team of the year, Jason Sanders, but I mean, that doesn't matter. He almost gets the block and I was so scared. You could see me, I'm just drinking my water. And you know, if he would've got that block, that would've been justified for that fumble I had gone earlier. So John Beast got here by beating Joe Rice, AKA Wesley, a lab partner of mine. I honestly thought that Wesley was gonna win. And it, you know, if I had one versus Noah, which I obviously did, um, it was gonna be me versus him. And you know, I was, you know, kind of ready for that matchup. Wouldn't say ready, but I was like thinking, okay, how am I gonna play Joe? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? You know, it just so happened that John Beast pulled it out. So shout out to him as right here, he hits a nice playmaker dot. He ran inside switch at a bunch tight end. He kind of made it, you know, a makeshift version, his version. And you know, it was a great play. I was not ready for that. And you know, um, he is also in the Jets offense. Something about the Jets offense is I run it. And you know, I'm dropping an ebook on it very, very soon. I literally finished all the offensive videos. I'm just planning on making a defensive game plan on that. Basically, what that means is, like, you know, what plays I ran and what defenses, uh, you know, I ran slash cycled through. Because, honestly, I played really good defense. I feel like it'd be a shame not to post that. So, you know, it'll be like 5 to $10 extra more than the, you know, e Because right here, we send the pressure um, and we, you know, he makes a quick, nice read. It was third and two. I wanted to get off the field. I should have got more aggressive. But, you know, if he would have ran Z-Spot or something... He would have had a nice chunk play, and honestly, I'm trying to make him work for it. And John Beast has the abilities I recommend um, for running like Jets offense or any type of bunch offense. He has Conductor, Hot Rod Master, Matchup Nightmare, and Playmaker. As speaking of Playmaker, um, he Playmaker's back. We were there, and he does throw something. I wouldn't say blind, but it was in the you know it was a kind of 50-50 read, and he just catches it out of bounds. But going back to the ebook, it's dropping very soon. You know. Uh, the Jets offense is kind of meta right now. Not too meta, but it is a really nice playbook. And I, hopefully you guys are able to purchase it. And hopefully it makes you better. It's right here. The three doubles are going off. He has great pocket and just a bad user. Great pocket by John Beast right there. He stepped up, stepped up, stepped up. 
And you know, I, honestly, at, at that point, I thought I was gonna get a shed. My user kind of went a little sleepy. It happens to the best of us. Right here, John Beast dialing it up, and I send the pressure. To me, guys, it looked like he was throwing a book right at my user. Let me know what you guys think right there. Was he throwing a pick or not to that in route? My user was all over it. And once more, John Beast going in the bunch tight end, and I love this, man. This is like, I, it reminds me of myself. This is a great route combination right here that he's cooking up. Some man beaters. But at the end of the day, everything was kind of covered. He waits too long, throws a book, and Sean Taylor, unfortunately, is not able to crib it or make a good return, but nonetheless will take it. Great user, I feel like, right there. It was just a busted play. He had a lot of time, and, you know, John Beast kind of rushed that. That was kind of a rookie mistake right there, if you ask me. So right there, man, that's a huge play. John Beast was in the red zone. You know, I haven't really shown him anything on offense. Uh, I've had three plays, and they've all kind of went for no gain or backwards, if anything. So right here, this is my first offensive drive of the game. And, you know, I'm just feeling him out, man. I feel like that in route was open. That in route definitely was open. But Sean Taylor, I think he was lurking around with him. Great user, great click off. And that's Deshaun Watson, man. He has a decent release, man. It's not the best, but, I mean, in certain scenarios, he does get sacked, and that kind of hurt. But it, and it wasn't that bad of a sack. It was a five-yard sack. It's right here, he's sending the dogs. And, you know, we just quickly dump it off to our matchup nightmare, Darren Waller. For four yards, I'll take that any day of the week. So here, man, I'm trying to look for a good chunk play. We go back to bunch tight end. Man, I'm just trying to figure something out, man. And, you know, we just kind of dial up a freestyle play. It's right here. We're throwing it. And he bags it. Good, good defense by John Beast with that deep out KO. And I'm a little fluttered, a little frustrated. Um, you know, deep out KO plus this mid blitz combination is definitely difficult to beat. If you do like to spam man and like to send pressure, I highly recommend running this defense. You just have to, you know, have experience in it because, you know, if you give up those free yards, it's really not the best. But, you know, he obviously knew what he was doing. John Beast is really great on defense. If you guys couldn't tell, I was in the 4-6 defense. I'm audibling from 3-3-5 to 3-3-5 wide. Just honestly, they had patched 1-4-6. Well, they quote-unquote patched it. Um, I know you could probably still scream out of it. As right here, great dot. I felt like, you know, I was almost going to get there. But the playmaker drag just makes you hesitate for even a second. Even if he didn't playmaker him back, it still makes you hesitate. Great dot. But like I said, guys, I felt like uh, they patched or quote unquote patch 146. So I really didn't have enough time to lab it up. And you know, I feel like honestly, one four, uh, excuse me, four six defense is really the best way to go for base defenses right here. Lawrence Taylor just gets a credible shed for us. And you know, that's always a good sign when someone is, has three rushes and they have minus six yards. That just honestly, like it doesn't even, it doesn't even open up the, the opportunity for them to be, you know, two dimensional. They're one dimensional at this point. And you know, that's what I like to play. He runs, bench pivot, he throws it with a high ball, great dot, and you know, high balls aren't always guaranteed, so that was kind of a risky throw, but nonetheless, he has matchup nightmare, he was able to snag that and come down with it, and you know, John Beast was playing at a high pace with this conductor, quick snap combo is right here, he's gonna throw a blind read to Rod Woodson, and you guys may or may have not seen this play, can we get sticky, can we get out of there, and we can, great defense, Great pick, great stick. That kind of rhymed. Rod Woodson doing it for the hometown Raiders, man. He was a Raider. That, that just feels nice, man. That was amazing, man. And, you know, I definitely was, I would say, you know, I was struggling on offense. Mid blitz, you don't want to play that. If you could get any type of free points, I will take it. And that's two picks by John Beast in the red zone. Well, close to the red zone, we'll say. Um, that hurts, man. That just hurts. You know, you have a chance to get points. You know, he could have potentially been up 14 to 3. Think about that, guys. He could have potentially been up 14 to 3. But now we're up 10 0 without really having to do too much. As you see right here, we had that cloud, excuse me, that purple. We just ran uh, Mabel. So we had that purple on zone drop uh, 20 to 25. And <clears throat> it did kind of look like he was able to throw that corner out over the top of it. But the thing is, the red zone, or it's somewhat close to the red zone, it gets condensed, man. And, you know, Rich Gannon doesn't have a good release at all. He wasn't able to get a good pass on it, a good pass lead. It's right here, John Beast, back on offense, trying to cook something up, man. It's right here. He, he actually does a ni nice, unique thing. And I don't know if you guys peep what he did. It's right there. That could have been a pick as well. He motioned that crosser out. Then he motioned it back 
all the way. He got it to, you know, be snapped while in motion, basically, was all I was saying. So, you know, instead of trying to motion it all the way out, he got it to go from right to left. That way it was motioned at the, you know, bunch side. And I kind of confused myself right there, but I, hopefully you guys understand what I was trying to say. It's right there. That could have potentially been another pick. We sent that pressure, that cover two blitz out of 335 wide. When you send the extra DB, the extra cornerback, and you kind of engage, kind of, you know, trick the offensive lineman, that corner will sometimes come in or someone else will come in. Maybe I'll make a tip Tuesday on that soon. It's right here, man. I'm, I'm smelling blood, man. I'm trying to get off the field right here. Uh, my opponent has been looking a little shaky. He's played good. He's played good. Do not get me wrong. He's played good. But at the same time, he hasn't. It's right here. He takes a huge hit. A huge hit. And, you know, we're not able to get that fumble and bounds. But it's all good because he's going to punt. I feel like this is, you know, a wise decision because, you know, he already has four turnovers. That's, in, that's crazy. And, you know, honestly, he has a great defense. He's played great defense all tournament. And he, you know what else? He gets a great punt all the way down to the seven. So, I mean, I feel like I've had one possession in the red zone, one possession kind of deep in my territory, and now here is another one deep in my territory. We're going to have to cook one up, boys. We're going to have to try to get some yards. Right here, Terry McLaurin in motion just to run this base, trying to get some extra uh, breathing room. And Deion Sanders, that's the guy that usually can't make a tackle, makes a tackle from behind. I felt like I was out of there if I could somehow get past that one defender as you see right here i flipped my bunch running a little mesh um just trying to make a quick read man trying to make a quick read everything whew, everything was bad and lawrence taylor with the send to shed of a century that was almost an insta shed boys i got definitely a little scared because deshaun watson he'd be he'd be wilding out sometimes with that release but you know you know what else he does he makes up for it and right here this is why you use deshaun watson throw on the run touch pass Jets dig inside seam bomb. That's in the ebook, boys. 93 yard touchdown pass in an MCS Final Four, man. I was definitely very hyped on that throw because, you know, I get ball at half. You know, I haven't been playing the best offense. I've labbed that dot up for many, t you know, many months at this point, many weeks. And, you know, it finally came through in one of the biggest games of my career. And, you know, that's, that, that's a bomb I recommend you guys to run. Like I said, it's in my Jets ebook. If you want to purchase that, the link will... Well, it's not made yet. I shouldn't say that, but the, the links will be in descriptions too, soon in the upcoming YouTube videos. Right here, John Beast has to get something cooking, man. He, Like I said, man, he has been playing decent offense versus me all game long. It's right here. What a playmaker die. That's the, one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion, if not the best versus man, versus zone, versus anything. Um, if you guys haven't used it, at least haven't tried it once... You know, understand if you use it and you're not good with it or you don't like it, understand. But if you haven't even used it once, why not just slap it on? I know 4 AP is a lot, but look at He just got 20 to 30 yards. It's right here. Another dot. He runs mesh. Another great play in the Jets playbook. You sense in a theme here, guys. Um, I ran cover two and that corner route just flew over the cloud flat. And he had an underneath route to pull my cloud flat. So, you know, just a great play design right there. It's right here. He runs that buck, RPO, RPO buck. And the thing is, you know, I use Bo Jackson quite a bit. I did sub in like Marcel Reese, Alvin Kamara here and there because they're better at receiving options. But I felt like Bo was a dog for the run, man. And that's why I ran so much with him. And, you know, um, you see, we all saw those runs that I had. A lot with Bo, a lot with Kamara, a lot with uh, Marcel Reese, a lot with Barry Sanders. Um, they're just fast, man. And they, you know, they get the edge. And, you know, I highly recommend you sub in your personnel accordingly. If, you're, if you know you're going to run, sub in Bo, man. You know, it's full mud. You don't have restrictions on your team. That's where I feel like my, uh, you know, experience kind of comes back. And it's not like I run every time when I have Bo. Otherwise, I'd just be giving things away. So, you know, I, I'll pass sometimes with Bo. You know, he's still a great player. And, you know, that's where I felt like John Beast, he's, he's a great player, but he needs just a little bit more like that's such a like small minor minor thing but you know if he picks up on that, those type of things and adds it up then you know he's gonna be a monster he's gonna be a beast it's right here third and goal man this is huge if we get a stop he runs fullback dive from third and goal on the three you know it's definitely a good call but you know at the end of the day it's definitely a little difficult without reach for it to get those scenarios and you know he's just gonna kick three and you know i'm i'm chilling man i'm very happy if we would have gave him seven, that would have been a whole different story. But, you know, since we held him to three, we will take it. Good defense, boys. 
running Z spot here, guys. And this corner route runs fast. We're able to make the throw, but guess what ability he has? Deep out KO. And see, I know that I know the deal, but honestly, in that scenario, like there's not that many plays that it can give you that many yards. And you know, I'll I'll take it, man. As long as I don't throw a pick here, I will take any result I get. And you know, I decide to run inside zone. I do that little motion out. Sees man, giving me some extra space to the outside. You know, he decides to call a timeout. And you know, it's not a bad time at all. But still, with 20 seconds, it's very hard to get something going, especially if I have a decent, any type of decent play right here. And we're going back to Z spot because we saw something promising, man. If we could just get our feet in bounds. No, we can't even catch it, man. Like, look how open that is. But due to deep out KO, he's going to just warp to it and swat it out, man. The counter is deep out elite slash deep in elite. But, you know, the time of this tournament, I was not expecting anyone to rock these abilities. So, you know, if you are playing Mutt, you're tired of playing this mid blitz, slap on some deep out, deep in KOs. It's right here. Rod Woodson just hits him. And that's pretty much going to be half, boys. So, guys, we do get ball out of half with this lead. And there is that base once more. And there's that bow we all know. Um, see, four rushes, six yards. That's not too many. But I promise you now he's going to get a couple touches coming out of this half. I'm definitely looking to put this game away, put it on ice. And, you know, um, bow, is he just falls forward, man. He got, you know, most players get three yards there. Most players might even get caught for no yards. He got six by falling forward. And right here, you know, I'm not making it look like I'm running every play. We're still going to dial up some dots. It's right here. Playmaker back the other way. Possession catch it. Easy, baby. Easy. We take that all day. And this is where I feel like I can, you know, separate it quite a bit from a lot of players in the MCS League. Like, I'm not saying, like, this takes skill. It's just clock management. It's just, you know, knowing when to call hike. Knowing, you know, to make fake audibles. I'm doing fake audibles right here, even though I'm going to run the ball. So it gives him that threat that I might pass. In reality, we're going to call hike with three seconds and run the ball for another, you know, one to two yards. We'll take that. And right here, man, he's going to have to get desperate, blitz happy, whatever you want to call it, very soon. And we do realize that. Look how many people he sends. And we make a simple, easy read of that right flat. Get the first down by trucking. And that's the thing with these corners, man. They're fast. They're good in man. They have deep out KO, but they really cannot tackle Darren Waller. Um, Darren Waller could truck, and, you know, he breaks one tackle right there and gets enough for the first down. In reality, you know, I would have been cool with a third in inches. I could have clocked a little bit more, but in, but in a game like this, you want to get all those first downs. You don't want to even have to worry about, you know, trying to get that first right there. And we go for a pass right here. We dial it up. That guy right there doesn't have deep out KO. Can Moss get another one for us? And I know if I possession catch it, maybe he can. I just, I can't remember if I possession caught that or if I racked it. And, you know, nonetheless, I'm okay with it. But I did, I did mess up. You know, the clock is still, the clock is stopped. I was trying to go for the dagger right there. You know, the past two plays, if you guys want to, like, look at it, think about it. The past two plays, first down, I ran the ball. So, you know, I'm thinking maybe I could go up top. Maybe I could catch him napping. Maybe I could catch him without shading. And, you know, that's what we did, man. And Moss just couldn't hold on to it, man. If only I had deep out elite, maybe that would have been a glitch. But, you know, if I had deep out elite, I wouldn't have Darren Waller with that matchup for certain, you know, certain times, certain games. It's right here. We're going back to Darren Waller, man. Um, we're looking at least for him. But we don't got it. We playmaker, and we're able to fall forward. And that's what makes Playmaker so glitchy. You think you got it all bagged up. You have zones there too. But no. We're able to thread the needle. Keep the clock going. Keep the chains moving. And you know we're starting to audible around. We're running this Jets tour. Um, it's full of bunch tight end. Bunch trips tight end offset. A, few, a lot of formations man. Right here we're going to simply run inside zone. He cracks us. And you know that kind of got me a little scared. You know what we do right after that? We know what we do after we take a big hit. We go on conservative, man. Guys, all I want here at the minimum is three. You know, I have, I did take a big hit. I lost four yards. That's actually quite a bit of yards to lose in a scenario like this. But in reality, Jason Sanders could hit from the 44, so we should be good. And boom, we hit another drag. And you know, that was a little bit of a scary throw. I should have lowballed it. I should have 100% lowballed that to be safe. 
because you never know someone could acrobat or something and that's on me but nonetheless it still was a catch so we'll take it and we are in field goal range now so even if we do take a sack oh, <laughs> we'll be fine man we'll, we'll we will be fine and i think i know that do i send five out no i sent three out right here and you know i was very comfortable with sending three out right here as right here we just try to make that throw it was gonna get knocked out again i don't even know why i tried to throw these crossers deep out ko is the truth right here the kick is up we didn't get an accurate kick and i'm thinking about that block he missed earlier and it doesn't matter this time thankfully and we took a lot of clock that drive got three made it a three possession game pressures on him he's gonna have to force stuff rush stuff and this is a kind of defensive game mode i feel like you know offense isn't at the premium in this game mode compared to regs more regs gameplay on the way right here john beast going back to this crosser playmaker combo and he has a wheel route on the field but we have a purple the key is you know john beast did throw that wheel route versus joe rice aka wesley um but he had a hard flat we had a purple and our purple matched onto it and you know that's the key if you guys want that to match on is you just do a five purple or a ten purple and it will match on um and right here john beast does take a de delay a game slash false start because he was audibling around too much we all know what that is boys right here once more going back to his crosser play he does have that playmaker and you know i clicked r3 by accident i sent the spy and that's something that i feel like is a little bugged in this game when you click r3 you expect them to send the spy or the zone right most of the time they send the man and right here john beast hits that flat gets out of bounds it's going to go to the fourth quarter we're up by 17 man we just have to hold on a couple more minutes right here john beast is just trying to get some route combos cooking up and right there playmaker again but i'm completely content with him hitting those five to six yard gains across the middle as long as that clock keeps ticking we're gonna get out of here with a win hopefully it's right here another great dot and see man see what i'm saying he had 220 yards he was 13 to 21 he just made a couple bad mistakes and i feel like that fumble definitely psyched him out in the beginning of the game uh john beast played really decent on offense it's right there our doubles or double or nothings finally get a nice shed for us i've been waiting all game to say that and you know second and 20 makes it look look like this game is all all but over it's right here i don't know what he hits i think his controller glitched out we're gonna take this to the baja I completely forgot about this, man. Rod Woodson with his second pick six. I said, let's go. Um, if you guys like heard the audio, I, I said, what the? Um, I, yeah, at least see me. I, I don't even know what he threw. I'll take it, man. I will take it, man. I will take it. As you see right here, I think he double tapped A. And we have all been there. We've all done that. So, you know. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking of my friend John, man. That, that That's just unfortunate. And I'm still laughing a week and a half later because that was, that was just something else, man. That was kind of unbelievable. But, you know, he's going to try to put up some points. And he actually ends up putting up a touchdown. Um, he actually has a great drive, this drive, as right here. Bench pivot, playmaker across the middle. He doesn't need to playmaker him. It's a wide open dot. And, man, I'm just trying to get out this game with some sheds. You see, I only had 111, you know, 112 yards total offense. And John Beast was just out here dotting me up. And I feel like that's the power of the conductor, man. I definitely was getting quick hiked, man. I definitely was. Um, it's not fun to get quick hiked. It's right here. John Beast throws a laser beam for a touchdown. The mesh, I ran cover two. And I feel like I always give up a touchdown in that scenario. Are you guys, can you guys relate? Like, I'm up big, you know, I just need to hold up for a couple possessions, you know, a couple plays, make that clock drip down. And he just drives down casually and scores in three plays. Shout out to John, dude. If he does get this two-point conversion, he does have three timeouts, two-minute warning, you know. I'm not saying it's highly likable, but still, it cuts it down to a 16-point game. Compared to a three-possession game, it will be cut down to a two-possession game. So, you know, this is actually a huge two-point conversion, and we literally stuff him by one inch and yeah he's gonna onside kick we're gonna recover this it's gonna be ggs man um i didn't really post this gameplay to my youtube yet so i thought i might as well do a breakdown of it and we all know what game comes up next just be on the lookout for that that was a, such a great game versus jwall man um I'm not gonna say what happens but most of you guys know what happens and you know just be on the lookout for that so 
We come out of here with a W. The final score ends up being 27 to nine. We just basically clock them out right here. We end up, I think, do we punt it? Let's see. We end up getting the first on a run and we just knee it out. Shout out to, big shout out to John Beast. That's a great dude. If you like what you guys see, go follow him, go sub to him. Um, and you know, more importantly, <laughs> let me check. But uh, if you guys can, please hit that like button, sub, bell notification, notifications on, likes, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay up, stay smooth. Much love to y'all, peace.